And let's bring it back home. We're hearing that uh, the head coach of the Super Eagles, talking about uh, Gennot Raw, just might be getting a new contract, but there are conditions on that contract, and some of which are um, that he must live in Nigeria, then his salaries will be paid in Naira. Then also, uh, he should also scout, uh, look, look around the Nigeria Professional Football League and see how he can nurture the local based players. Do you think Gennot Raw would accept this contract, or do you think that this is a, a means of wanting to um, let go of the coach? Um, for me, if you ask me, bro, I will let you know that um, I will just tell you straight up that um, I think this is a way, this is a kind of way to tell you again at Raw that I think uh, your time is up. Wow. Uh, because if, you t if you're telling him you're going, to, you're going to pay him in our local currency here, I mean, uh, uh, well, if you tell him he's going to, he must live in Nigeria here, I think that's fair enough because you know why? He needs to go around and watch our local league mm -hmm. and pick at least one or two players out of the local league and mm -hmm. also try to help uh, the LMC organized the local league. That is why he's there. Not just to coach the Super Eagles, you know, but also to look into our local league, you know, and, you know, and tell them that, okay, uh, let's, do, let's do this way, let's go this way. It's going to help the league. That is why he's there. But if you ask me, uh, if the Nero signed that contract, uh, means uh, uh, he, has, he has no option. Hmm. That is the truth. Because this is the kind of way to tell him that I think your time is up. You wow. need to go. Now, so look, looking at Gennot Raw, would you consider him as a successful coach for uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria because of what he has done so far compared to the coaches that we've had in time past? Um, well, if you ask me, I would just say out of 100%, I would give him like uh, 50%, okay. if you ask me. Because, um, yes, uh, he has been here for a while now as a, as a coach of the Super Eagles. Uh, he never won the, uh, uh, the AFCON. Uh, for sure, yes, you qualified the team for the World Cup, went to the World Cup, it's okay. But remember, also, let Stephen Keshi won the Nations Cup. Yeah. He's a local coach. He won the AFCON. You know? uh, well, I, I would say that he's a bad coach. He's a good coach. He has tried. Uh, but uh, if you ask me, I'll just give him like 50%.